Hey, I'm Krista Wax. You're listening to MSP Sound on KFAI. I'm so excited. I have the one and only Lady Midnight with me. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello, listeners. <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming on the show. It's so fun to have you here. It's really a pleasure. Thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness. It, I feel like <laughs> thank you. Um, I have been a fan of your music for such a long time. And so I feel like this interview is long overdue. So I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the show. Yay. I'm glad I have something new to talk about because yeah, it's been a while. So <laughs> I'm glad there's another opportunity. <laughs> me too so let's talk about it brand new album mm -hmm. pursuit and the elusive well, what tell me all about it tell me about this journey <laughs> yeah it's so I guess I would describe it sonically it's very different than the first album that I put out which was um, called death before morning and that was in 2019 um, that work was much more introspective and I would say um you know, at least for me, it felt all very introspective. Um, but I think that this album maybe still is introspective, but it's a decidedly, you know, dance album, like very strong electronic dance beats um, produced by two producers instead of eight producers. Um, so it just has much more of a focus. And that is um, by Laserbeak and Ice Tap, their duo together called Nightstone. Um, and they produce the alb album. I have a couple interludes that are really great for my band um, that that's on there too. Um, but yeah, I think like this work for me is much more about getting people to get up and move. Um, even though I'm talking about difficult subject matter, I think that like by having people move through it, it's just a different experience, a different energy. And so I'm hoping that through that, you know, that action, um, it really kind of creates not only healing for, for my words, um, to kind of like, you know, bounce around in, but also for other people too. So, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I've listened to the album already and it is amazing and very Thank danceable, you. which are my favorite things. I love <laughs> I love a good dance album. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yay. I'm so glad you liked it. Oh my gosh. Yes. Everyone's going to love it. <laughs> Sorry, that was a very bold statement. It's a very bold <laughs> statement to make, but. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> heard it here first. If you don't, come talk to me and we're going to work on it. Um, <laughs> that's great. How, how was it working with, you know, just focusing on two producers versus multiple? Like you said, it was easier to focus but yeah. what was that experience like? Yeah, I think initially like creating my first album, I was really working on like, how can I create a sound that feels like me? Cause I was still working with a lot of different people and, um, you know, collaborations. Sometimes I'd work on a song and it would feel very much like, okay, this is the other person's like sound or style. So I'm going to adopt to it. I'm going to adapt. And um, I think when I found those songs that felt like my voice and my, you know, my sound that I wanted to create, um, that is what sort of allowed me to package the, the piece before this time. It was like, here, here's the music, you know, and write whatever you want. And so I already was thinking about these songs as being pieces to each other, that they would already be part of the same body of work at the same collection. So I don't think it was, it was just different, the mindset around like how I was creating. Um, I didn't necessarily need to find the story within it. It like already had it from the beginning. So um, yeah, yeah, very different process. Um, still both are like very enjoyable but I think that this was it was nice to I think work in a smaller team um because I mean it has its pros and cons I'm sure too you know you have more more people more ideas but um it just felt nice I think to have things um maybe just with like less less people to weigh in I don't know it was just quicker <laughs> yeah. 
and like um I think more decided you know like I was able to make decisions I think a bit quicker now that I, I've like released an album before um not as much nervousness and and even though like all of these songs, you know, everything I make is precious to me. I think that I wasn't getting like caught up in the idea of perfection in the ways that I have been before. So um, more laid back, I guess, too. <laughs> okay. Well, that's great. That's wonderful how it all came together. So yeah. it comes out October 27th. That's coming up. Yeah, October 27th. I can't believe it. Just in a couple of weeks. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Pursuit in the Elusive. Um, it should be streaming everywhere. Maybe not Apple Music. It takes forever for Apple Music. I don't know why. They take like a month or two later than every one of the other ones. So sorry, Apple Music listeners, but you could hop over to YouTube. <laughs> you know. <laughs> While you wait. Okay, that's fantastic. All right, streaming everywhere. And you have a couple shows coming up. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have my next show um, is going to be next Saturday and it'll be at in St. Paul at the Union Depot. I'll be performing with my band as part of the Festival de las Calaveras, um, which is a festival that's happened, I think, for at least the last 10 years um, where, uh, yeah, we just sort of celebrate the Day of the Dead and have different activities for families. I think this is the family day. Um, so there'll be uh, crafts that you can make. There'll be face painting, um, a variety of different performers. And yeah, if you're looking for more information about that, you can definitely look up um, my website, which is IamLadyMidnight.com or Instagram, um, same thing at I am Lady Midnight and find more info on it. Um, so yeah, that's the 21st. And then the 27th, I'll be doing a listening party um, for my album. So it's like a listening crawl. Um, we're going to be starting off at Modest um, from six to eight, then going to the Falling Knife Brewery from eight to 10 and the last spot from 10 to 12 isn't confirmed yet, but, <laughs> um, it's but it's a mystery, but it's definitely, there's definitely going to be another, a third spot there too. So yeah, check out my, my page again for more information on that. And then the next night we are celebrating and partying at green room for witch party. I'm very excited about that. So I know people have their Halloween plans but ours is going to be the best party. <laughs> so you might as well just plan accordingly. Don't play yourself. Come through. <laughs> yes. I love it. Yes. I think which party is going to be so much fun. That has uh, Jaden James, you, which I was so excited to see that you were part of it. Uh, Fox gloves and superior mm -hmm. siren. That's an amazing yeah. lineup. That's yeah, I've never played with any of them before either. So this is really is going to be such an awesome opportunity to just meet really other talented musicians, um, specifically ladies. So I love it. <laughs> yes, I know me too. I love that it's a mix of just great music and that it's, we yeah, have people that maybe you wouldn't expect on a bill together it are and it's yeah amazing so yeah I feel like it's gonna work and I love those shows where it's like you might come for one artist but you're exposed to so much you know other talent ideas genres that you end up you know becoming a fan of the other band like so definitely come early if you can yeah <laughs> I'm always a fan of catching the opener. So <laughs> come catch me. <laughs> Pursue. Pursuit. Pursue. Be in pursuit of me. Yes. Be elusive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fun. I love that you're doing a listening party crawl, not just a, hey, we're just going to hang out in one spot. You're like, we're making it a night. Come yeah, in, definitely. In one of these spots. That's fantastic. Is there anything else happening at these? I mean, anything else besides listening to your music and finding you here? What? Yeah. Um, well, I'll be setting up a sort of like photo booth of sorts. Um, 
But, you know, I think something that really helps me as an artist is just to be able to get support from other people and to get feedback. So I'll have kind of like a confessional photo booth area that people can give me feedback on what they think so far on the album. And um, yeah, you know, like <laughs> good and bad things that they would want to see, just kind of um, letting me know that that's really helpful for me. Um, so I'll have this like little booth set up. Um, it's basically just a ring light and an iPad, but <laughs> you know, maybe I can like whip up a curtain around it. So it feels a little more private, but, um, but yeah, I'll have those so you can give me your feedback and, um, they'll just be little like merch prizes and, and things that people can get, um, if they come and there'll also be some drink specials. So that's always kind of a bonus. Um, <laughs> depending at which, which bar, um, there might be like a signature cocktail or there could be like a package, um, at modest. I know they're going to do like a pursuit in the elusive package. So there'll be some money that you can get off of some of their, their goods there. Um, but yeah, I think that there is, it's just really a moment to kind of like celebrate and interact and talk to people about it. I think, um, I have been, you know, holding this so close to myself for so long that it's like, I am really, really interested to hear what other people have to say, because I have thought about it at nauseum of what I think this album is. And um, I'm just curious to hear the perspective of other people. Um, so I think it should be fun. Oh, wow. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a confessional space that <laughs> you are in the pursuit and the, no I'll stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean and it's interesting too because it's like the pursuit pursuit me elusive like for me the whole theme around the album is really dealing with like um you know patterns around love um also like addiction and how we in so many ways are in pursuit of like feeling the sense of belonging or the sense of um, kind of like even safety or escapism. And um, I think like there's a companion piece that I'm making as well um, that will come out next year. And that's talking about, um, it's the same name. The film is called The Pursuit and the Elusive. And it sort of paints a larger picture around themes of the album um, around kind of sometimes our desire to like create blame and have like something that feels concrete around difficult losses, particularly around losses with addiction and how difficult that is to really like point blame on one particular person, how even our pursuit of like trying to make sense of it can lead us into things that, um, you know, create our own vice or create our own shadow. So that I might have given away a lot of the movie already. There's twists and turns. I'm a private eye detective in it and it's exciting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that, you know, again, going back to like the listening crawl, it all sort of thematically makes sense that we would be, you know, on on foot, <laughs> on 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 pursuit. So yes. I love it. I I think I just love saying the pursuit and the elusive. It's such a great couple words together like a great yeah. phrase it's so fun to say I can't thank you, stop thank saying you. it <laughs> thank you so I'm much saying pursuit pursuit yes <laughs> Lady midnight the elusive and the and the elusive yeah <laughs> yeah um I I feel like that was a very fitting album for the themes that I kind of talk about so yeah, it's, sometimes it's difficult, but you know, I like to make music about difficult things and um, it makes me feel better and it gives me more clarity. And I hope that people feel the same way too. If they're like me, they also turn to music. So I'm, I hope that this is like a fun um, way to kind of, you know, feel something that you need to get out um it's interesting because when I started making the album I was joking with like Laserbeak and Gabe around um Nightstone duo around like you know it's pain but it's pop so it's like pain pop you know this music <laughs> uh I like and I was I recently heard an interview um that Dessa gave and she was talking about her music as being you know like it's smart 
pop music as well. And so Smart Pop and Pain Pop <laughs> were a dream duo. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you are. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Game pop. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have so much fun saying that. That's giving me so many fun phrases now. Uh, <laughs> but speaking of Dessa, you also, I mean, a little later on, but in November, you have a big, you got some other fun things happening. Yeah, I'll be opening up for her Midwest tour um, Midwest leg so those dates um, which start in like I want to say it's no, around November 15th um, through the the 19th um, or 20th I have to double check um, I got I got the itinerary though so you'll, we're, you'll be there you'll be, <laughs> I'll there. be there I'll be there <laughs> um, but we're going to be heading to uh, we have a show here in Minneapolis which is really exciting I think that just sold out um, but there is a show in Eau Claire, which isn't that far away. And there's also a show in Rochester. Um, and then we have Madison in Chicago and yeah, it's going to be really, really fun. Um, she just released her album, bury the lead. And I think it's a amazing collection of songs that are tender and witty and vulnerable and strong and all of the things. So I'm just excited for her um, to be, you know, uh, making new music and to, um, bring it, I think to a larger audience. She has such like great fans. Um, and I'm super honored that she has asked me to, to join her on it. So yeah, <laughs> very excited about that. That is an amazing lineup. That is so exciting. And so cool, the two of you touring and performing together. It's a wonderful night of music. Wow. Congrats. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Krista. <laughs> be so fun. Oh, it will be. Yes. I mean, I know you You just talked about all these wonderful things. Is there anything <laughs> else happening you want to tell us about? Like, um, I'm not minimizing everything <laughs> that you got going on. But. Oh, yeah. It feels like a lot. Um, you know, those are really the the biggest things I think for me this year it feels like great big milestones to be able to um, put this record out that I'm so proud of. Again, it comes out October 27th. So please follow me. It's a really, if you can, um, you know, follow me on Instagram, <laughs> all the things it, it does actually make a difference. I think for independent artists to have a little bit of that, those numbers, even though they suck, um, they do, they still are taken into consideration. So help me get my numbers up and like, yeah. Uh, if you like the album, share it with anyone. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I think, I don't think I have anything else to add. Uh, just want to say thank you for taking the time to, to listen to me and to promote the album and the work. And yeah, I love KFAI. So appreciate you guys and what you do and yeah that's it that's all thank you <laughs> oh, thank you we you know kfai we love you You're... and i i love kfai too <laughs> I, I know it's such a great love affair we all have <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I'll yes thank you that. congratulations again on this amazing album um so excited for everyone else to hear what I've been hearing, I can't wait to go listen to it again. Like after we're done talking, because <laughs> like ready for some pain pop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very exciting. The you have a show on the 21st uh, in St. Paul, and then you'll be having your listening party crawl on the 27th, and then the witch party on the 28th. So many fun things in October. I I mean, yeah, check it out, everyone. Like, no excuses. There's so many opportunities. So why not? <laughs> right? It's Plan like, now. Yeah, have fun in October. <laughs> Let's do it before it's cold. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I really exactly. didn't mean to end that on that note. Well, <laughs> congratulations again. Thank you so much for coming on the show. You're so um, welcome. My pleasure. A blast. <laughs>